Welcome to Mandatory Update, the show where I'm a classically trained actor and Elise is a classically trained tractor. I'm Ian Hink. Vroom vroom. <laughs> Let's plow some fields and read the news. You got a one tractor mind. Uh. A free HBO Go app is available on the PS3. Yes, now millions of people everywhere can steal their friends HBO Go with an interface that doesn't suck total balls. The Jewish heritage of B.J. Blazkowicz, Wolfenstein's machine gun-toting Nazi killer, has long been a thing of speculation, but the game's lead designer confirmed that yes, he is in fact Jewish. Personally, this isn't much of a shock. His name is B.J. Blazkowicz, he kills Nazis, and he really, really loves his mother. It's official. Shaquille O'Neal is asking for donations to crowdfund Shaq Fu, a legend reborn. The multimillionaire and owner of three mansions hopes that you'll give your money to make his dreams come true. You gotta know the struggle. You gotta know the struggle. <laughs> Double Fine Games was robbed twice in the last month. Video of the burglars can be seen in their latest Amnesia Fortnite video. The burglars can be seen in the video carrying out large bags of whimsy and imagination. Until the culprits are found, Tim Schafer says that the company will start working on nothing but open world third person shooters. Hideo Kojima explained on Twitter the meaning of Solid Snake's name. Apparently, it's not a porn name, nor is it a penis reference of any kind. Actually, Ian, Kojima explained that it's Snake because a snake is stealthy, and Solid because Solid implies the opposite of soft. Liquid Snake emphasizes the struggle between Solid and Liquid, and Solidus is a state between the two. He went on to say that he chose metal because it is a material that is used for things that wood is sometimes used for, but not. So, so it's totally a penis it reference. It is absolutely a penis yeah. reference. Mm -hmm. Dark Souls 2 comes out on March 11th. To tell us more about the game and how dedicated its fans are, we go to Mandatory Update's darkest soul, Rob Slusser. Rob? Hello, Ian. Oh, Jesus. Next Tuesday, the world as we know it will be forever changed as Dark Souls 2, the sequel to the highly successful Dark Souls, hits stores. I've heard people speak of this series with grave seriousness. They speak of great hardship, and they speak of death. I thought it was just a game when I made my pre-order, but now I too must prepare to die. Rob, the game doesn't literally kill Don't you. try and stop me, Ian! I've already moved to settle my worldly affairs, and the pre-order is non-refundable. To my darling wife and children, I leave everything I own. My house, my car, this Pokemon Rangers overworld map. And of course, my copy of Dark Souls 2. A note will instruct my firstborn son to bind the case in chains and cast it to the bottom of the sea, so that he may escape the fate that befell his father. Okay, I see what's happening. The, the slogan for the first game was prepare to die. That's just marketing. Surely wrong. there is no greater burden than for a man to know the details of his own demise. Yet wield no power to change the trajectory of his final days. I can no more easily cancel the pre-order than crawl back into the womb. Truly, there is no escape. Rob, listen to me. Just cancel the pre-order. I put down $20, Ian. Oh, how I fear the day when there are no more life gems, no more souls to trade. I will no longer be a warrior but a wretched hollow traversing the plains of dusk in search of the last bonfire. May my body decay and be reborn as a great tree in the forest of fallen giants. And now I must go to complete my last two things on my bucket list before I die. I want to see the Grand Canyon, and I want to eat a bowl of ice cream. You've never had a bowl of ice cream? Great. Thanks, Rob. Rob Slusser. What the fuck? Two years ago, Sniper Elite V2 from 505 Games released an extra mission where players could assassinate Adolf Hitler. Now, when Sniper Elite 3 comes out this July, you'll be able to take down the Fuhrer all over again, except this time Hitler is traveling to a small port town accompanied by a body double. So you'll have to figure out who the real Adolf is. Or you could just kill them both. They're probably both Nazis. A Texas man stabbed his girlfriend's ex with a replica legend of Zelda Master Sword during a domestic dispute last Saturday night. Once in the chest and once in the leg. This is wrong. Stabbing the leg does nothing. What he really should have done was use the boomerang to attack the glowing membrane, thus causing the connection to the exterior force field to break momentarily and swipe at the main body repeatedly. You can use Deku Nuts, but I found this first way to be the most effective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Web designer Greg Miller is developing a 3D modeled version of Jerry's apartment from Seinfeld which can be explored using the Oculus Rift. The demo, called Jerry's Place, is available for download right now. The game is so realistic that one African American player said he nearly had a heart attack when Kramer suddenly burst into the room. That's because Michael Richards went on that racist tirade at the Laugh Factory like 10 years ago and you wrote this joke? Yeah. yeah. I've been sitting on this joke waiting for somebody to make a Jerry's Room Oculus game for about 10 years. <laughs> I bet you have. 
Batman Arkham Knight was announced for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. It's the final installment in the series from Rocksteady, and will feature a redesigned version of Gotham City, a drivable Batmobile, and a slew of Batman's arch foes. We asked several people for their thoughts on the game, including prominent Gotham businessman Bruce Wayne. Said Wayne, I've never met this Batman character, but this game sounds pretty cool. And a Batmobile? Now I've heard everything. But I'm just a playboy billionaire who lost his parents under mysterious circumstances. What do I know? What a class act. Yeah. <laughs> I winked. Because of a PlayStation Store mistake, people in the UK were able to download the new Kill Zone for 85 pence. Considering that's like 300,000 US dollars, it's a horrible ripoff. <laughs> Rumors are flying about Dishonored 2 after a leaked logo popped up online. It's a funny irony that someone managed to take a secret photo in an NDA meeting of a game all about stealth. You flew too close to the sun, Bethesda, and you burnt. You burnt. <laughs> we got to say it again. Yeah. Rah. There Came an Echo will be making its way to the Xbox One shortly after its PC launch. Its main feature is the ability to command your troops through voice commands. Asshole roommates across the nation are prepping to order troops to suck their dicks. Microsoft is looking to bring Xbox Live to both the iPhone and Android. In fact, I have already been invited into the beta. Hang on, I have to take this. Hello? Accept. Yes. Yes. Accept. Two. Sorry, that was my friend. He just got an achievement in Dead Rising 3. Oh, nice. In a recent interview with Nintendo Life, Lee Musgrave talks about the unreleased GameCube game, Donkey Kong Racing, and describes it as a cute version of Grand Theft Auto set in Africa. Diddy Kong is gunned down by a warlord and Dixie has AIDS, but they do this little high five and flip dance after, so it's pretty adorable. It was pretty cute. Big news from Sony Computer Entertainment of America this week, Jack Trenton has stepped down as president and CEO. Who's his replacement? Sean Layden. 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 Laden. Laden, not laid on him. Laden for dinner. There's probably a dick joke in there somewhere. Yeah, there's gotta be. Uh, we'll find it. Yeah. Well. That's it for mandatory update. Uh, I mean, Hink. Vroom, vroom. I'm Elise Holmes. Good night and good game.